Okay, so what we have here today is the Link 6 RE1000 wireless and range extender. Now, uh, this is something which I've been uh, needing for quite a while because uh, my router, the Linksys E4200, seems to have a problem with its range. Now, typically in, uh, in big um, houses, um, the range really doesn't seem to be a problem, but then ever since I moved into this little uh, small uh, high-density apartment here in Hong Kong, for some reason the the numerous walls between the living room and and the bedroom seems to have uh, hampered the quality of the um, wireless signal so um, uh, I'm hoping that this little device over here will be able to bridge um, or rather improve the signal strength so I'm just gonna quickly show you the box um, so it's compatible for both uh, Mac and Windows which is great and it's got the WPS set up um, what else do we have here cutting edge network technology blah 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 I'm not really that interested with all of that stuff um, so yeah so I think that's what you should get the picture of what it tries to achieve now the good thing with this range extender is that I don't really need an ethernet cable to connect through it it's just gonna basically find my existing Wi-Fi signal and then repeat it so looking at this diagram you can actually see that you can actually have multiple uh, uh, range extenders around and apparently you can connect up to five um, so I've just bought one today so let's see how it goes if I find it useful I might actually put another one in somewhere now the trick the trick to actually getting these range extenders to work is you've got to find a location where there is a decent signal strength and and once you get a decent sig signal strength it then uh, amplifies that across um, a particular area so it's, it's quite important that you actually place the um, the device the range extender in in, in, a, in a place where you actually get a good quality signal okay so uh, without any further ado let me just quickly run through this so it's got an ethernet bridge like I said it's 2.4 gigahertz band so I'm not really sure how this affects my 5G band maybe it doesn't relay that but anyway I'm gonna open the box up now and oh geez this unboxing is gonna look a bit boring not much to show I don't know why we have such a big box anyway so this is what the device looks like pretty straightforward uh, I think so let's see what it's got over here. So that's where the Ethernet bridge would kick in. And uh, as you can see, the UK power supply and the um, WPS button. So I think it's going to be pure plug and play. This really is a, is a bit of a waste in terms of space and box, don't you think? Okay, so I've got a Cat5 cable in there. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, some mod some some other adapters. I've got a power cable. Really? Do I need a power cable? I'm wondering why there's a power cable. Oh, maybe there's. Oh, to replace that little plug. Okay, another extension cable. Ah, I wonder what this is. Some form of jack, or maybe <coughs> some bracket. Oh, there's actually a software as well. Must be. Okay, and then uh, the instruction manual. So I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff. And, uh, okay, so geez, a lot of different languages. But essentially, you get the picture. Alright, so I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to install this software and then I'm going to give you my verdict. Um, in the second half of this video. Cheers. Okay, so what you're going to be seeing now is the performance of the original signal, which you can see over there. It's actually uh, Yujusen 2G Josh Gest is basically the original signal from my Cisco uh, uh, E4200 router. And um, 
as as we will be going back into the different applications I would like to launch Wi-Fi Analyzer and within Wi-Fi Analyzer you will notice that uh, my original signal is uh, is the one over there where you just sent to J guest so this is uh, as I now move uh, to the different rooms uh, this signal should actually be dropping as you can see it's dropped and uh, now you can see the other signal pick up um, which is really um, this is from my access point so from this access point now you can see that uh, it, the repeater is working very well um, because within the bedroom now I am able to actually see the signal now as a comparison if I take it off um, if I unplug if I unplug the uh, the repeater effectively I've unplugged it um, there you go it's fallen off completely right so as you can see um, signal is now basically from the living room it's a very very low signal um, so I'm going to now push the um, repeater back on line again and uh, I should be seeing an increase in my coverage it should be coming back up and uh, probably takes a few seconds so this application uh, is called Wi-Fi Analyze and there you go the signal is back up <coughs> so it just shows that uh, you can actually see uh, an improved performance um, by using this repeater